why I was looking for a picture to start this part of the video off and then dog it just stopped on that and I thought perfect perfect um came across this video Chilean from Australia sent it to me and I really like this person's version of what they think history is from a, 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 a com what's the word collecting information from many different archaeologists some believing more the way that it is and that and that and that and some looking at different ways and different thoughts which is just absolutely brilliant because we all know that history is a lie and this person here says that we were not fighting each other in fact they're saying in here that we didn't even like we were just a bunch of land and then eventually we became a political thing but it wasn't maybe until I don't know the 8th and 9th century but um, just some amazing stuff in here just watch this little bit of video but at the end please go to this channel I'll leave the link as I've said I think I'll say it later on actually <laughs> I think I say it a bit later on because I'm going backwards and putting bits in on the video obviously I've taken a few minutes because I just want to show you but this guy is brilliant. I love what he's done. The whole video shows that the whole of history is not what they say it is. But anyway, here's a little sampler. The trouble is, there is no archaeological evidence for the Anglo-Saxon invasion. The traditional story of the making of England is completely wrong. The real story will reshape our future and rewrite our do excuse all these little break-ins. I've never, ever had to do this to a video. I, it's not my video, this one. It, it obviously is that channel there, Timeline. But I took two little sections out of this video because I thought it was so good. And then what YouTube have done is they have uh, decided to uh, copyright this part of the video. But not the video, the music. So it does the same thing really, because once it's copyrighted, you can't make any money out of it. It's been, um, you know, affected, and um, you know, it just, it just is a mess for you. So I'm having to come in uh, a few more times just to, so you can hear the video, but it's not copyrighted, because otherwise, yeah. And there's no reason for it to be copyrighted. It's all the same song. Do you see what I mean? They're pathetic. As an island people, we Brits have been obsessed with the idea of invasion. And the story of the arrival of the Anglo-Saxons has long been accepted as a part of our history. If you go over to the main channel and watch the video, it's very interesting how they've shown this whole like story over the top. It's called the ladder, because all the people used to live down there or ladder whatever it is but they used to all the people used to live down uh, along here and so I just found that very interesting because uh, yeah but I have to cut in I have to cut in hopefully this is enough I'm going to show that the myth of the Anglo-Saxon invasion is just a tale leading edge archaeology is beginning to re-examine the dramatic changes that took place in this country in the centuries after the Roman troops departed and a very different story Story to the one which we have become accustomed is emerging. I'm very sorry that I had to stop the video there. It's not my video. It's got quite a few subscribers and just wanted to show you this video to go and watch it. Just that little bit where he's explaining that history is not what they have told us. And he goes through some amazing... Um, yeah, just amazing. I wish I could play it for you. It goes through that castles aren't what they say they are. They, These castles all along the coast were to bring goods in and then goods could go out to the country. They did not see the big invasion of Saxons and all that. In fact, when they actually looked at everything and dug everything and so forth, it seemed that the Saxons and the Romans and everybody else was living comfortably together but please go and watch this video Gillian from Australia sent it to me and I really enjoyed it because this was made in 2017 I wish I'd seen that then I mean look how many people have watched it 
um, uh, uh, in the description for you to go and watch the whole thing um, and sub to the channels um, I really like what this guy said uh, it's too much to whiz through it's 40 odd minutes of video I mean maybe I'll just add this little bit here this bit when he's talking to this guy this is Porchester Castle they were talking about I'm gonna add that little bit one second we're gonna add that bit that these forts are put up as a defense against the Saxons the count is called the count of the Saxon shore now whether that means it is the shore being attacked by the Saxons or settled by the Saxons really we just don't know Andrew has found that the huge walls are actually better suited to protecting goods kept inside the forts rather than attacking enemies from outside having to break up this bit of video a bit because YouTube do not like what this person says because they're obviously telling the truth and telling us that things are not what they're supposed to be but basically I've uploaded it twice with non-copyright music which I know is non-copyright music but to get rid so that this you know to that basically what they do is they um, they affect the video by restricting it in some way and then that video doesn't really go forward at all you know not so many people will watch it I mean I'm shadow banned as it is so once they affect it even more it's not nobody's gonna look at the video but this guy is saying really important thing well I think he is don't you Amy Sorry, Amy, I do Karen, Amy's with yes. me Amy's with me sorry yes hi Karen and everybody Yes, he's saying a very important thing, is it? And YouTube have copyrighted it when it's not copyrighted. I mean, the I music. Know. They're copywriting the music, which is the same music running through the whole video. And now I'm having to break this bit down and put this in. But we'll just move on and play a few more words. And then me and Amy are going to have to talk again because I really want people to hear what he says. Yes. Should we do that then, Amy? We'll just put a little bit on. You'll be back, yeah. in, a, you'll be back in a moment. Right. Well, I think these sites are doing much more than defending the coastline. If the Saxons came raiding, it wouldn't have been monthly, it may not have even been every year or every ten years. So, in terms of what these forts do, I think it's much more likely that they have a major economic role, or perhaps a supply role, rather than this kind of defensive function that's ascribed to them normally. Yeah, it's quite amazing, Amy, hey? And we're having to put this bit in to try and just break up this bit of video so that you can hear it but YouTube are being wallies. I know, that's right. I mean, I know it's not my video and I know I've taken this little bit of footage but I bet you this person putting this video out didn't get this problem. I bet too. The bot goes, ha ha, she's, she's putting the truth out. Let's restrict it. Like, exactly. And just because it might be slightly different opinion, they just don't See, that's because we know they've lied so badly. <laughs> that's right, because uh, they wouldn't try to cover it up like that. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. call it, I call that I'm basically abused every day, really, most days by them, because they're always doing this to my videos, but I suppose it's their platform, so... Yeah, and in a way, you know, need to be... Well, I do put it on other places, but it's quite, you know, basically, when I go to YouTube, I've always had enough. Exactly, I, I can understand that. Mm. So, much, well, yes. Sorry, Amy, what's your thoughts then about the fact that they're not what they say? We won't mention exactly words, because obviously he does, but they're not what yeah. they say they are. So, you know, these things here are not what they say they are. Yes. So, so instead, yes. of, instead of this being the fighting thing we were, we basically were, were looking after ourselves and having trade and everything, which is we wanted to find this infrastructure anyway. So. It's a bit like, what do you mean classes, or oh, I said it now, with that? It's, I just find that incredible. And then you two too. trying to sort of restrict it. Yeah, it, uh, they just want people to believe that they were what they have always told us, and they can't bear for anybody to express a different opinion about it. I find that crazy. Why can't we express a different opinion about it? Because it's their because platform. Yeah, I guess so. I've never so known. I, I, I call this, I think it's called abuse. It is, I agree. 
because it should be for the people. It's called YouTube. Yeah, and, and, and how many other channels might be able to put this out or copy oh, this I bit know. of thing and have nothing happens to them? But me, Nini, and, 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 and obviously they just, they just, the bots come out and go, restrict, restrict, copyright, do, do, do. It's really weird. But when they copyright it like that, for me to take the copyright off, I have to get rid of that bit of video, which means getting rid of what he says. And I just think what he exactly. says is... is Exactly it. <laughs> a train. Oh dearie me, Amy, what a mess. Yes, pathetic. we're trying to get the information out, but they surely don't make it easy. No. Anyway, should we stop that no. bit and we'll stick this bit okay. in? Okay. Thank you, my darling. You're welcome, darling. To do, I think it's much more likely that they have a major economic role, a perhaps a supply role, rather than this kind of defensive function that's ascribed to them normally. So, what it does is it starts to put into question all these Saxon castles. Now, I put in Saxon castles and it's bringing up, oh look at that one, it's bringing up all these castles, so it just puts, it just puts all these castles now into question that these were not, you know, um, they were storing stuff. Anyway, on with the next bit. So what you seem to be suggesting then is that these forts could have been used actually to help trade from out of Britain rather than stop people coming in. Being made for completely different reasons. These things weren't to, for fighting. They were for looking after the people and trading and stuff like that. So, complete opposite of what they're saying in history. Yes, I think rather than um, trying to block access to the interior, as um, is perhaps traditionally thought, in fact, these are quite the opposite insofar as materials are, and goods are coming here and then being shipped outwards and beyond into the empire as a whole. So this guy has set out to find the history of the Saxon invasion and all those kind of stuff. And he did come across people who supported it a little bit more, but all he found was there wasn't really every evidence at all for any of it, and we were living totally different than the way that they said that we were. That's all they can find is that, because what he, what he says in the video is that when there have been wars, then you find markings on the land, you know, there'll be whatever. There'll be mark, scorch marks, there'll be all sorts of things on the land. And there isn't any of this. There is none. They were in peace. And I just feel so, you know, YouTube have gone so out of their way to make sure I don't even just mention these bits of history and, um, or an alternative. Anyway, let's just carry on on the last bit and hope it works this time. Andrew has found no archeological evidence that these forts were built to defend against an Anglo-Saxon invasion. Don't you just love it when another piece of the puzzle comes in and you've got other, you know, I love it when archaeologists start looking and start realising it for themselves, what is going on, that things just do not add up and are not what they say they do and don't fit the history. We all knew that at periods of time that we lived in harmony. We just did. We, I called it Tartaria. We don't know when it was, but we felt that we had in this video the Romans, the Saxons, and other cultures, even if some of them have come from abroad, are all living here peacefully, together, in communities, around each other. I don't know what this thing is that we're in right now. It is a part of this Roman Empire. They've moved it on. It's the UN, whatever. Just look at the flag. It's got the Union Jack on it, everything. But the Romans were also living amongst the people in this time and everybody was living peacefully. Anyway, please go and watch this video. If you want to watch a bit of alternative history, finding out that things are not what you thought, and there are so many bits in here. It's like, it's like you know, this is a really good video. Thank you so much, Julian, for sending me the link to this video. Anyway, what do you think of everything? Leave your messages below.